Welcome to another episode of the Anecdote Podcast. To my right, I got my guy Anthony. So it was good. What's up? Yo, my name is Justin, and today we got a new guest, a very talented individual, uh, music artist. He hails from Belleville, New Jersey. Uh, Real Quest. It was good. Yo, yo. So, yo. You feel <laughs> Yo, yo. I also, we talked about this already before, right? Uh, the podcast is about you. I'm going to ask you questions about yourself, like where you came from, your history. And speaking of history, I want to talk about like the origin of your name. So your name, you go by Real Quest as like your artist name, right? Right. Yeah. right. So was it always Real Quest? And if not, what was it? And then also like, how'd you get the name like Real Quest? Yeah, so um, back in the day, you know, back in the high school days, um, you, you remember Just Quest, right? Yeah, 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 I remember Just Quest. Yeah. Um, I used that to go was, by. That was a, was that like acquainted? Just, was Just a Quest made acquainted, right? No, no, that's that actually, was, that's, re, that's um, early Rio Quest. Early, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Um, Just Quest is the, uh, I guess the uh, younger rapper counterpart okay. to Rio Quest. Yeah, because um, I used to rap back in the, like a lot back in the day um, before I switched over to um, predominantly singing. Mm -hmm. Um well, before Rio Quest, I used to be, um, I used to go buy some different, mm -hmm. slightly different Just a Quest. And um, Just a was just kind of like a play off of my, my actual name, Justin. Yeah. And um, I don't know, like I said, you're, you're, young, you're young, you're immature, you know, you have different thoughts and shit. But um, I don't know why I just came up with Just a Quest exactly. But, yeah. Um, like how, how exactly? Because it was kind of, it was rushed. Yeah. Um, between me and my friends because we did a video it kind of forced me to do it and if it wasn't for them like I probably wouldn't even be doing anything publicly like music wise and yeah. stuff so if it wasn't for them I'm still friends with them um, if it wasn't for them um, isn't that like wild to think though like that oh, yeah. isn't it yeah, it's, it's like some really butterfly good. effect type shit yeah, yeah. yeah. Facts, yeah. facts 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 so how'd you come across like real quest like what made you change so like uh, around like 2017 um because just quest was like 2012 so i've been there for like yeah like five 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 years mm -hmm. yeah. so i switched over around like 2017 because i felt like i outgrew it i outgrew that name um just a quest and i just kind of like took the last three letters of my last name surio so rio r-i-o and I don't know from just from being just Quest at the time all those years you know um, nobody would call me Jessa they would kind of call me Quest so that yeah, kind of became yeah. my nickname over the years and um, so I kind of had it you know it, it'll only be it'll be wrong to not keep it yeah I'll Quest. Feel you. so I you know I just real and Quest it's kind of like true to you if yeah, you yeah, it, yeah and at first it didn't feel right mm -hmm. just the name itself it was like more like it just it's just something that kind of just grew into you grew you'd grow on to like the name and shit yeah. and um i took a while maybe like after when i don't know like i started meeting people they would start calling me rio or whatever it's kind of cool so yeah, yeah so, it's kind of cool with that. if someone ever call you like justin you're like wait who yeah like i'm so <laughs> used funny. to people people calling me either quest or rio but i do prefer um being called Quest just because that was my name from like the yeah. beginning. Yeah. Um, but it's cool though. Real Quest is cool. All right. So like you switched in 2017. I mean, now we're in 2020. So I want to talk about, I guess, your growth as an artist. Can, can you tell me a little bit about that? Like how far you've come, like what you've learned along the way, you feel me, since you started? Um, shit. Since I started, it's actually a beautiful thing looking back, you know, um, Cause I used to, like I said, as a rapper, you know, you're immature, say a lot of crazy shit. Yeah. Um, you know, through the years, you just grow from that. Um, your decision making, like specifically, like in songwriting as well, like oh, this should be structured this way. Like I'm look like shit. I would not like now. I would probably enjoy 100 percent back then. Back then. Yeah. 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 And you know, you just just comes with learning. You know, like as an average person, you listen to so much music a day. And from that, you know, that that that's also just a good kind of like teacher with, within itself is just listening to music yeah. and just like analyzing all oh, the snare, this 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 hi hat or whatever. You know, it's it's, it's it's cool. Okay, okay, okay. So I mean, is there anything that hasn't changed about you that you that you see like in your music or like the process of like making music? Anything that's been like yo, like this is true from 
when I started music till today, like I'm gonna keep this forever, like about myself or something that I do. Um, storytelling. You know, like I like yeah. to really, literally keep true to myself. Like when I write music, I want I want people to know, like, oh, that's really him. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Like a real experience. Yeah, like it's a real experience. Like I've always had, like I've had friends I would show certain songs to, and they would be like, "Oh wow, you just told me about that story the other day." And they yeah. would always be like, "Oh, that's really cool. You can songwrite, you know, just, um, just basically me, just um, with every story, every weird memory that I had, you know, I just it also ser- it also serves as a stress relief. I feel so you. that's why, uh, that's probably why. I, it stays on with me. Yeah. That little trait, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, like, I guess storytelling. Uh, I mean, just listening off, like, your discography from, like, uh, Extraterrestrial or, like, D-I-N-K. Uh, I want to talk about, like, where you draw the inspiration, like, when you write. You feel me? Like, tell me a little bit more about that. Whatever stresses me out, I guess you yeah. can eventually hear it on the beat or some shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, like... Like an ex or um, or just uh, snake friends or whatever. Yeah. Like well, um, just whatever, I feel like had had me feeling like I was stuck in the corner for some time. Like yeah. anything negative. Yeah. Well, for the most part, but I, I like writing love songs as well. I but I, I, I like if you do listen to my stuff, like there's a little, there's a little pettiness in there, you know. Yeah. There, but you know. <laughs> we're talking about this but like have they ever like hit you up regarding like yo I know this song is about me like what the fuck you know <laughs> all the time you be getting in trouble <laughs> <laughs> not really nothing really happens it's just more like it's fun yeah it's just fun and not at the same time you know I have every right to feel that way to write it's your experience you know, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly it's true experience and um whatever if they feel a way about it then yeah, that's true. Whatever. I feel yeah. you, I feel you. So as an artist, like, what do you want to contribute uh, to the game? Like, as an R&B singer, like a rapper, like, at, what does Real Quest want to do, like, ultimately? Um, in I, music. I, personally, I just want to prove a point to myself. Um, see that I can do this, that if if I can fit into the top artists, R&B artists, hip-hop, whatever type of artists, like, I don't know. I just want to just get a taste of that success, I guess. I feel you. Yeah. But I do want people to, you know, I do want to reach out to to good amount of people that, you know, that might relate to it, I guess. Yeah. You know? I feel like I feel like nowadays a lot of like, I guess today's artists, I don't know, just I guess from an outside perspective, I feel like it's an overnight type of thing, but it's really not. You feel me? Because like a lot of people are like in the process. So... I feel I honestly believe in you, bro. Just just listen, just <laughs> listen sure. off your your shit alone. But like, it's gonna be crazy like seeing you like right now to when you do actually like make it like quote unquote. But like, do you That'd still be nice. facts? Yeah. Would. Yeah. <laughs> but do you still have like your your doubts every now and then, or like do they still? Of course, like, all the you? time. You know, um, being human. You know, you, you automatically know you're not perfect. Yeah. yeah. That, that thought is just always going to be ingrained passively in the back of your mind. Like you're not perfect. Um, you will come across mistakes. You will overthink. You will come across all these obstacles. But um, you think about the good stuff and the people you do it for. You, if you can fuel it right. Yeah. yeah I but if you was. use it right, you could use it as fuel for motivation. Yeah, like what's stopping going. you? Exactly. Like, yeah. There's, there shouldn't be a reason that's stopping me. Yeah. Why yeah. am I stopping now? I've, came, I've come so far, yeah. you know, and I don't know. Uh, I've had struggles with that um, a lot. I still do to this day, but um, I'm learning more and more to, to you know, to be stronger. I feel that. No matter what, no matter what weird shit, even yeah. whatever, like literally whatever. You know? Yeah. So like you have these struggles, but like what about like, successes has there ever been like a moment where like hey yo like this person this person like for example like yo this person in china is listening to me or this person like australia is listening to me like has there ever been a, like a moment of success <laughs> fuck that guy <laughs> <laughs> i'll repeat that i'll repeat that i'll repeat that question has there ever been like a moment of success where you were like yo like i've come so far like like a small milestone like you like had a concert mad people showed up or like somebody in different countries listening to your shit 
Like, is has there ever been like a moment that for you? Yeah, I would say shit, even the smallest things. Yeah, just like yeah. I may not show it all the time or publicly or whatever, but it just makes me jump for joy. <laughs> you know, I get <laughs> yeah. so excited. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, there was this. Um, I did. I did this one song with Mike Nasty. He produced. Uh, what was it? It was Anti Best Friend that yeah. came out. Yeah. And I guess you know he has a big following. So when we finally released the song. There was this one DJ from London playing that shit in the club over there in London. Well, that's the top. So wow. Yeah, I that's thought that was pretty wild. cool. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. No, it wasn't. Was it Anti Best Friend? Was it Lone Wolf? I think, no, it wasn't Anti Best Friend. I'm pretty Lone sure. Wolf? I'm pretty sure it was Anti Best Friend. Oh, okay, okay. I'm pretty sure. Yo, yeah, I, also like saw that, I also saw that that uh, clothing brand, Native Youth, they put like together a playlist and they put you on it. They're from London oh. too. You put that up recently. Like, you put down your story. Oh really? I didn't even know. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Yeah, yeah. Because really? nah, yeah. oh, yeah. I like, follow them on Instagram. I don't even know why. Their shit's not that nice. Yeah, it's like a. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, nah, it's they, a streetwear brand in London, yeah. right? Yeah, I think in it's the from UK. UK. Oh, no and fucking way. I they know. made like a playlist, and you were on it, and you put it on your story. You fucking know. <laughs> yeah, they tagged you. Bro. Oh, I finally just right didn't actually like really. This man just like <laughs> add the story. Just add the story. No, I checked it out. Like I. Oh damn! Yeah, yeah, no, no. Check yeah, it out. Cut that shit out. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out, Navy, Native Youth. Yo, <laughs> Yo, that's shit. Mad like, funny. <laughs> Actually, this kit's not even that nice. Well, what? You said it's not even that. Oh, nice. the brand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're, they're certified, so or verified, whatever. Yeah, that's so funny. All right, so I mean, I guess I'm gonna pick up. Um, so they played when he, they played anti best friend in in a bar in a club. Yeah, it looked, like club a club. it looked like a club. Like, yeah, yeah, there was a lot of heads over there. They were bumping it. It looked like it. it was going, I was yeah, like that's... making sure, like they go to the BPM, the tempo of the beat, like <laughs> you know, like it was really that, you know. Trying yeah, to see some head movement. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's 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 fire, that's pretty bro. Tough, yeah. bro. Yeah. It's just stuff like that, like makes me keep going. Yeah, you yeah. know, like what we were just talking about. Um, it's it's. I, there's no obstacles in your way once you keep seeing stuff like sure that. Like that, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. it, tr- it truly like outweighs like all, all the that, negative. Yeah. When you like strip away everything, like that shit, I feel like outweighs oh, yeah, so much. Oh, that's like, too if you really think shit. about it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking London, what? That's crazy. Feel yeah. <laughs> me? <laughs> all right. So you're talking about um, being human and like having like imperfections and shit like that, right? So looking at your discography, I feel like you release only like singles at a time. So, are you sleeping on anything? Like, are there any tracks like we haven't heard? Like, the people, you feel me? Like, are you holding back, bro? Yeah, I am. You holding back? (laughs) Yeah, holding back. About a million songs, not not a million, but there's a lot that, um, whether it's on my main producer's computer or on my on my MacBook, like we have like about a million, not literally, but like hella beats and hella unreleased songs, unfinished songs, just because. We just like to keep creating new shit every day, so we have we have an issue with yeah, going we, back to old shit. But yeah. I was looking at a lot of um, of the old shit earlier today, which is funny. Um, I actually am gonna decide to finish a lot of them because it's like I I want people to 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 hear this stuff. Yeah. You know? I want people yeah. to know like this is crazy, but I'll get to it eventually. But as far as all that shit, yeah, I'm holding, I'm holding down on you guys. <laughs> how do you know when it's like, I? how do you know when to release it though? Well, even if it's like, I guess, quote unquote, finish, you feel me? Like, how do you know when it's like ready for the public, for the public to hear? When it has that quest bounce. Yeah. Oh, we talked about, bounce. all right, yeah, so yeah. what's that quest bounce, explain bro? It, explain it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, the quest, you know, just, um, I just like literally standing out in contrast with every other sound that you hear artists or whatever you know like i said um being being an average person you listen to so much music a day Mm -hmm. so you got you kind of get an idea especially if you really pay attention you kind of get an idea of what this sounds like on the radio not even just the radio just anything like oh the snare's here yeah you know like you just know the placements of the stuff and like, like the instruments and stuff and um you know, knowing that, having that knowledge, you would kind of have better control in what you want to sound like exactly, what what sounds you want to use. Yeah. Oh, no yeah. one's used this before. No one's used that. No one's kind of sang like this before or in this certain way. So I wanted to 
tackle what people haven't touched, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, Trying to like create your own path. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And also still being, I guess, contemporary. At yeah, time, contemporary. So. yeah. So like, were you always musically inclined? Like, how'd you learn to rap? How'd you learn to sing and all that shit? Oh shit, I don't even... Uh, listening to Michael Jackson, you know, as a kid, so it was weird because I don't know why I even started rapping before I really started writing yeah. R&B music or singing music or whatever. But um, just listening to Michael Jackson from the start, like, I was probably like the first musician. Like, I fell in love with all his music. Yeah. And um, Michael Jackson, Invincible. Um, yeah, you guys haven't heard you of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> forgot, forgot. Um, yeah, that early ass 2000, like I said, I think it was early 2000s, it came oh, out or some shit like that. Invincible, yeah, so much amazing music. Like, it's more like his, it shows his soul side of and his R&B side of, um, of how he would do it. And yeah, shit. And, yeah. Um, as opposed to pop, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it just that project alone inspired me a lot. Like, it just made me fall in love with R and B. You know, when it's watching 106 in Park, um, just just really getting a a good hold of what R and B music is. Yeah. And, and then just growing up with that. But um, I just you know learn to sing with that. You know, you just sing along and shit. You start to realize, oh, I could sing with this riff or yeah. or that run or whatever. And just rapping, I don't even know. Like I said, I don't even know how I got into rapping. It was more like <laughs> I used to listen to Hobson and shit. Hobson? Like, yeah, yeah, back in <laughs> like or like Eminem, or, um, Horseshoe Gang, Slaughterhouse. This was 2011. This was when the Shady Cipher. Yeah, so I don't know oh, if you yeah. guys seen that shit. Yeah, I used to watch Cyphers like, like you like said, the like Cypher. Like, I've seen though. Back, back. Mm-hmm. I used to watch 106 in Park. Oh, Watch yeah. King of the Doll, all that yeah. battle shit. Just because I'm interested in it. Yeah. Like, I'm not from, I, yeah, I just like, I like the art. You no, it's yeah, fun yeah, to watch. It's yeah. fun to watch. It's very fun to watch. You talking about, Um, I was going to say, I was going to ask, Uh, did you did you ever do any ciphers like growing up since you were like rapping? Oh, hell yeah. Like, um, not really official recorded ones, which I always wanted to. You know, it's funny. Speaking of, pe- uh, speaking of Team Backpack. Um, yeah. I actually did the, uh, back in the day when I was still rapping, I did the contest and I was like one of like the 10 or 20 finalists that they chose that are able to compete over there to really be a team backpack. Oh, be on the video and shit. Yeah, oh, to yeah. start being on the shit. And I, you had to pay for your own plane ticket or some shit. Oh, I didn't what? have no This was like sophomore year. I was young. I didn't really care about that shit. It was cool that I got yeah, it. Yeah. But I knew I wasn't going to have the money to, to That's fly over there. Yeah, it was what? dope. It was it was a, it was definitely a dope experience and something I like could prove to myself. Yeah, you know, like so, yo, like you solidified. Were, He's a rapper, yo. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to get into the next question. Um, a lot of your tracks, I mean, a lot of your discography, you release singles at a time. So, we were just wondering, actually, because we fuck with your music. When is is the album coming? EP coming? Mixtape was good. Oh yeah. Um, I don't really really want to speak too much about it mm-hmm. right now, but um, we'll wait on like after two singles, two, two singles. music videos or whatever. Yeah, um, yeah. Then maybe I'll feel comfortable enough to really give that release. Okay, like release a, date. A definite. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Definite. A go or whatever. Okay. Okay. So I mean. Uh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be like a like J Cole platinum with no features type shit or like. <laughs> yeah, or like, this one. This one might <laughs> not have a. Yeah, might not have any features actually. No yeah. So. Are you gonna self produce? Um, it'll be like fifty percent. My. Uh, no, nah, it'll be like. Yeah, it'll be between like me and two other producer homies. So. Okay. 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 I mean, I think we asked this before. Um, just from your music that you've made and released, what's your What's your favorite track and what's your least favorite? Um, and why? You feel me? Usually I like to, when I create, I try to make every song my favorite. Yeah. Um, and never to have a least favorite, I guess. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I guess right now my favorite is um, Extraterrestrial. I've been listening to that a lot. Mm-hmm. As me far too. As <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro. Yo. You. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would say Extraterrestrial. Every time it comes on, like I don't skip it. If it's me, oh, it's on the playlist type show. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, that's tough. Yeah, you know, I fuck with my own vibes as well. You know, I feel that. But um, you think you find that difficult to do, or like, 
Because I feel like a lot of artists are like, oh, I don't listen to my own music just because like they've heard it so many times. They've heard so many times. No, that, that's that is the case. But yeah, yeah. I do like going back a lot. Um, I'm very, um, I guess, proud of where like just the growth and just hearing different types of uh, sounds that I can go through. I guess yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good perspective. Yeah, 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 I do. I like I like looking back. See, oh, oh I might have put this here if I would if, if I did this song now or whatever. Actually, that's a bad feeling. I hate. I hate feeling like that because it's like I wish I would have done that. But you know, you get what I'm saying, though. Yeah. And um, was it extraterrestrial or a Vita Towers that was your last release? I'm not sure. It was a Vita Towers. It was a Vita Towers. Yeah, okay. Vita okay. Towers. So I mean, you spoke about it a little bit earlier in the podcast how you eventually want people to uh, you want you want to be part of that top tier of like R&B artists. Yeah. Right. So. I guess in the industry, there's not that many like Asian Americans in there. It's not that many people just in general that look like you. Like, no offense, your boy's fucking Filipino too. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're like, supposed to represent. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So like, can you talk a little bit about that? I feel like that's seeing that. Just like, I guess there's no like, I guess trendsetter to follow. I mean, like you have like the uh, art Asian artists like Rich Brian. I know he's in there too, and like uh, Joji or whatever. Yeah, you got some dope shit. Yeah, yeah, but like, tell me a little bit about that. Like, is that is that ever like, is that difficult for you? Um, not really. It's more like I know it's as far as being a trendsetter, it's gonna mm-hmm. take a little extra effort sure. to to get to that point of uh, everybody wants to do this now or whatever. Um, yeah. No, nah, you know, back in the day, I would say I used to get mad at stuff like that, but nowadays it's either. You know, you don't want to put in so much energy getting mad at shit, especially if you're confident, you know, eventually it'll happen. But just yeah. it's not that time right now. But um, for me, I, I think it just takes one, you know, and yeah, it will take one. I yeah, do, it just I takes one that. person and then the rest is going to follow. And that's why I I feel about like myself personally, like video and all that shit, because yeah. it's just like predominantly like a white industry. <laughs> yeah, 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 video. So like for me, it just takes one, and I feel like that's the same with like I guess rap and like R like R and B. No, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, most yeah. Definitely. and it's just like yo, like I could be the fucking one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? exactly. Like or at least the start or something. Yeah, 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 even if it's not me, but that'll be cool to go for that position. Yeah, you feel me? But even if it wasn't me, I'd like to see my people prosper. You feel yeah, me? I feel you. I feel you. Brothers and their <laughs> sisters, you know? Yeah, I actually just read something the other day that like I don't even know if yeah. I'm Filipino anymore. <laughs> No, no, just because it was like, yo, it was like, we're just real quick, real, real quick <laughs> recap. It was like, yo, uh, the Philippines was founded by like, uh, Fil- Filipino was actually uh, a term for Spanish people born on the islands. So there was like no, the indigenous people were like a mix of like Chinese, African, Spanish, American, uh, Austronesian, all that shit. Yeah, I was reading about Yeah, yeah. so it was just like a mix of people, like all on like those fucking 70,000 islands. It's just like. Yo, who's the originator? We don't really like the real know. originator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like we're a mix of everything. That's what I'm saying. So it's just like y'all be looking in the mirror, like, oh, who am I? Which <laughs> one? Which <laughs> side am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. Like um, one of my homies, he was. Uh, it's funny. While I was in the Philippines, um, one of my um, my black brothers, <laughs> he was uh, he was reading this one book about um. Filipino history and shit and then they were showing like the very early pictures of like the earliest Filipinos and shit yeah, yeah. and they were dark that's what I'm yeah, saying dark yeah, yeah. and they were like they looked pretty much like, like African like yeah, yeah. like the there's still there's everything. still people that are like like dark darker is, skin of, just, like in the Philippines like of I guess quote unquote Filipino descent because I don't even know anymore but like they're there <laughs> yeah they're yeah they're there. there like Spanish black I don't even know that's yeah. what I'm saying bro <laughs> it's crazy yeah so okay so there and back i want to talk about i guess because i got two more things to talk about but second to last thing for other artists young artists i guess starting out or just thinking about it uh what would you have to say like what type of advice would you have to give for them to like i guess kickstart their career or, like pursue music or whether it be rapping r&b all that um i would say get all your negativity out the way before you really um take shit serious get all your emotions out um don't ever let emotions get the best of you um because you know 
I'm not perfect either. I used to say some bullshit. Um, I'm more, I'm glad that I'm still not at a point where I want to be right now. Yeah. Because if I was, I would have like fucked com- up my Like complacent type shit? Um, nah, just more like the shit that, the shit that I know now. Mm-hmm. Um, no, the shit that I didn't know, I'm glad I wouldn't. I wouldn't be bringing that with me if I did get to a successful point. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of like, I guess, baggage. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, a whole bunch of baggage. Yeah, 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 a whole bunch yeah. of baggage. Not even just that knowledge as well. Industry knowledge, um, yeah. artistry knowledge. You know, you got to be prepared. Um, but it all comes in time, though. You know, if you're a young artist, it all comes with growth and just. It, it could be a bad, it could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing if you get brought in early at yeah. an early stage mm-hmm. of your career, you know. You started predominantly early, right? Yeah, pretty early, right? So, yeah. like, you know, like I said, people, you know, you get immature, yeah. you know, you're, you're young, back in the day, whatever. But um, like growth, it's, it's inevitable within all of us. Yeah. If you if you don't experience then there's something wrong with you. Yeah, I'm living. This is, is this the same advice you'd give to your former self, not just like local artists and everything? Yeah, I beat the shit out of my former <laughs> self by everything, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, there's just so much shit I wish I could have done better, you mm-hmm. know? But, um, well, you constantly improving. I feel like yeah. everybody is trying to lead, uh, constantly trying to strive for, like, I guess, better. Yeah, better bigger and better themselves. always, you know? Yeah, Never yeah. settle for less. Yeah. Um, I mean, since, actually, I'm sorry. <laughs> One more thing I want to know before we get started. This is the last cooling, thing. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're cooling, bro. Good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> so, you switched to R and B more recently than before. Is it always going to be like that? What's the what's your the trajectory of like I guess your artistry? Are you going to explore different genres? Are you going to be like oh I'm like my identity is an R and B artist? Or are you going to be like versatile? You feel me? Sure, I'm done. Um like that party next door joint cover that you did you feel me oh uh, thank you bro. yeah <laughs> you know it's just fire yeah that for example or like sweet succubus and stuff like that you know bringing the funk whatever yeah. the funk <laughs> <laughs> but uh, i like yeah i like doing different i like going into different territory you know i like challenging myself how would i sound on this how could i make this how could i produce this yeah um yeah i definitely would say i'm predominantly r&b as mm-hmm. of this moment now, um, I do like exploring. Like I said, I like exploring different shit. If rapping sounds good on this beat, then I'm a rap on it. If singing yeah. sounds good on this beat, I'm a whatever. If layered voices or reverb, whatever different types of ways I'm singing. If it sounds good on this and that, then you yeah. know, might Yo, as well. do you have anything recorded that's not R and B and not oh, rap? Oh yeah, most definitely, I do. Well, it's. Yeah, like what, what genre? What kind of genre? Are we yeah, that's it. Anything like rock, house. That's tough. Oh, for real? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, <Yeah>. bro. <laughs> <laughs> like you say, you holding out on us. I'm man. holding out. Yeah, 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 I am holding out. No, no, no. Take your time, bro. Take your time. Yeah, I, I got so much shit that you guys, you know, I know you guys would fuck with. Hopefully, yeah, <laughs> yo. So, bro, always down to give it. We're a all ears. Word, word, word. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate you guys. All right, for sure, bro. Yo, I appreciate you having me on the show. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you. That's it.